On the road, yeah, back again. Oh, bit of a tune going on there, but this blue sky has put me in a good mood. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm traveling 120 miles for a burger. Yeah, excuse the title, I'm trying something different. This is still your favorite football series on YouTube. It is on the road. It is, yep, it is back again. But I've got to play the game a little bit, you know. And by the way, I will never clickbait, and this is definitely not clickbait. I'm genuinely traveling 120 miles for a burger. But we're also going to go and see the football, as you know. Before we get into this one, if you enjoy these videos and you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, click that bell to be notified when a new video is out. Oh, yeah, and by the way, did you see last week's? And oh my god, a shelf. Look at this. What a treat. What a treat. Oh, look, his fellow YouTuber. It's Ben Foster. Not a fellow professional footballer, though. That dream ended for me when I was, like, 10. I absolutely love the sound of rumbling seats as people stand up for a potential chance. I'll tell you what's better, though. Bang! Yeah! Yep, Premier League, baby. That was Watford. And if you missed it, why not go and check it out after this video? Got a link in the description below for the On The Road playlist. Over 100 different grounds we've been to now. Plenty of binging available for you. But of course, that was last week. We're about to set our sights on this week as we head to... Name! Hungerford Town. They were founded in 1886. They currently find themselves in the National League South as they take on Concord Rangers today. It's kind of my neck of the woods. You won't find me on the island, though. No, you won't. Where are they playing, Smith? Well, they play at Ball Pit Lane, which has a total capacity of 3,034, 500 of which are seated. And I've got a feeling they're not heated. So travelling today has been absolute bliss. No problems on the bloody A13. A nice easy stroll into me old manor. Christ! Which takes us nicely round to the width restriction that nobody wants to go through, apart from myself in this van up here. But hold up, fella. That's a red light there. You don't want to be going over that because there might be someone brave on the other side that wants to come through. Yep, he's reversed lights have come on. He knows he's made a mistake. And come to think of it, he might be about to make an even bigger one because I, I don't think he's going to get through there. We've never referenced it, but you see that sign up there? Six foot six width. I think he might be a little bit bigger as he reverses back to allow some cars through. We'll see how he gets on after. It's the top comments of the week. <laughs> this is Big Smith, my friend. Would have been easy just to enjoy the football yourself. So somebody who will probably never see what to play at home. Thanks for taking us along. I I I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> All right, a couple of brave ones came through the other side, and uh, we now have got the green light from Beyonce, and we can get on with our journey. But, as I said, is he going to get through here? Because they're from manage at home, and that's fine. You can manage at home. I think we can all do that to a certain degree, but this is on the road. Yeah, back again. More importantly, this is the whip restriction that nobody wants to go through. I applaud their bravery. They really do, but this could be bordering stupidity. One minute later. Oh, but it's not happening. Abort, abort. Back that thing up. Back it up. Obviously, he ain't going anywhere if I don't back it up. But as I back it up, he's decided to go straight through. The light's red. The other's on the other side are waiting. Manage at home.co.uk. You really messed up everyone's day. And I think you should probably take that van for a service because I think it might have done some damage. Honestly, the width restriction that nobody wants to go through takes no prisoners. Absolute drama down here today. Look, it's even going green. Beyonce's giving me the green light, but this light over the other side feel like they need to go through now. They've wasted enough time, which is now impacting my time. Everyone's just being very selfish right now, including, do you know what, myself. I'm going through this. Screw you lot. But I won't be making anyone wait because I I can read signs and I can get through this comfortably. Out of the way, lads. We are going to the football. Obviously, via the complex, need to get that windscreen sorted. I can see fine. I think it's the angle of the camera. That sun, it's like a dirty reveal. Right, where's Charlie? Hello? Starting route to Hungerford Town Football Club. And it goes a little something like this. First step, big bad boy M25. We're going over QE2 bridge, which is ridiculously high. No need for it. And they close it every single time there's a little bit of wind. That's got to be high, Smith, because you've got to let the boats in. There are no boats this tall, I promise you. Add a little Google. Wikipedia's my friend. The Azam is the longest boat, 179 metres. But it's not that tall, is it? Come on. In third, you've got the Eclipse, which is owned by Roman Abramovich. He ain't coming back anytime soon. Down in seventh is Prince Abdulaziz. Oh, yeah, let's build the QE2 ridiculously too high so we can let the Saudi royal family through. And again, all these measurements here, they're in length. They're not that tall. I'm sure I'll find exactly what I'm looking for at some point, but I've just spent £2.50 getting over this bridge so we could enter the Garden of England, which is Kent. And there's a sign which confirms it. Kent. Spurs are playing today. Leeds. Got it on the radio, haven't we? <laughs> The civil engineering on this part of the M25 is just absolutely beautiful. Bridges for days. And anyone that knows this part of the M25 is constantly thinking that all four tyres are flat. Just about to pull into Cobham Services. Charlie's feeling a bit laggy. Need to get him a coffee. Ordered the coffee. Waiting for the coffee. Ignoring the signs. Got the coffee. That's not a coffee. Let's go. Now, I did consider going Legoland, but we've got a game to go and see. So under the Helch Bridge we go. And I think at some point we got on the M3 and now we're getting off the M3 and we're going somewhere else. Oh god, last of the summer wine called. They want their views back. Wrong crowd. I guess none of you remember that. I personally don't think this is the way. We're now being told to go to Wexham. Not Wrexham, Wexham. Either way, that's decent points on Scrabble. I'm hoping no one's going to comment, oh my god, Smith, how did you end up there? That's a famous rally track. I'm surprised you didn't go headfirst into a Subaru Impreza. I don't know how we got here, and I don't know why we got here. But the bottom line is, we didn't go headfirst into a car. Although we did see Amazon out and about, they were just delivering Jill's epilator, the cordless one, you know. Enjoy that silky smooth skin, Jill. This back end route continued, it just went on 
and on and on until we reach a place called Hungerford. We'll turn up for the books and just round the corner, we chuck a Roger at the mini roundabout, drive down this residential and park up just about here. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you very much. On the foot, arrived. It's Hungerford Town with a park outside. I was really excited to tell you about this, but I've just realised what I've done. Hungerford Town did this really good thing called Four for a Score. I was expecting to turn up and do that today. Ticket, program, food, and drinks sorted. Unfortunately, it's online only. I didn't read that bit. My bad. So I'm now paying for an adult ticket, which is 14 quid. And this is where I put up. I spent 14 quid on a ticket. <laughs> Severe like a click click clickage there. But listen, I'm here for a burger. Burr, burr. People at non-league with a blue sky make me happy. Welcome to Hungerford for Town FC, where I could sponsor a brick for hundred pounds. It's not a real brick. It's a fake brick on a real brick wall. It's a no for me today, but all the best going forward. So as I pan round, I see the snack shack, home of this legendary burger, as seen on footy scran. Plenty of images popping up. One of the best out there, I'm told. But before we deal with the food, Charlie needs a beer. And he's got the beer. It's a Guinness. Hello, mate. How you been? Right, obviously we don't qualify for the meal deal today, so we've got to look at this very small menu. Charlie's blind, so he's gone right up to it. I've got a little bit closer. Chocolate available too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna need a bench for this, because I've just come away with a ball pit burger and chips and my friends it is just like the pictures two burgers monterey jack cheese i think there's gherkins in there burger sauce and the most important bit the green leaves don't forget the green leaves that's eight pound fifty on food hang on a minute how these people getting away with six pound fifty for the burger and the chips i would leslie be on the till charge me two quid for chips oh well did i have any trouble eating this i'm a season pro absolutely not and i'll tell you how it went down at the end of the video on the pitch players have just come out it's hungerford in the white concord in the blue just stumbled across the gherkin do you eat it do you not for me grow up eat it and we have kicked off where something always happens in the first minute of non-league <laughs> Nothing too spectacular today, though. Let's continue my burger. I've just seen an offside. It doesn't matter if you're this far down the pyramid. He's dedicated to the calls. Posture is spot on, and we welcome him into the human ruler family because he's straight as a, well, ruler. So here I am about to confirm that I've eaten all my food. Apart from the raw onions, haven't really got time for that. But what it did mean is I wasn't in the right position for this. Yeah! I need a drink. And available to me was a Diet Coke. That's £1.20 spent. More chances for Hungerford. Oh. Let's move from this position. Hello, mate. How you been? Hey, mate. How you been? Hey, mate. How you been? How you been? One thing I would say about those burgers, they were thick. Flagpole girth today, just as impressive. Hungerford doing their bit for non-league. Obviously, every non-league ground needs a pile of crap. That or an old kitchen. Yeah, I take loads of pictures. Do you? What kind of pictures do you take? Oh, pretty much anything, really. Just mm -hmm. lots of photos. Yep. Mm -hmm. It will continue. Speed bumps. How slow we got to take this? Well, there's your answer. And that speed confirmed on the other side of this stand, in which, of course, you sit, not stand. But just be on the stand where you don't stand. I've got a stand where you do stand. It's a terrace. I've seen some tackles in my time, but this is by far the worst. <laughs> Let's continue to walk. Dad shoes. Forza flag girth. Where am I taking you now? It's another stand where we're sitting. It's name. Blackpool FC. No, it's still at Bullpit Lane. Are these seats red or orange? At the time, my eyes said orange on the camera. It's telling me red. Sweep it, keeper. <laughs> Oh, oh, indeed. Get that wrong, and it's curtains, blinds, and nets. Let's walk, because we can do that. It's non league. Just a tub of fence paint, just because. And what looks like unused turnstiles. Look at this. I think somebody out there is expecting an FA Cup run in the not too distant future. But as we continue our walk around, another stand. Where you stand. Is that the third or fourth? I don't know. Either way, welcome to the Ron Terry stand. Proudly sponsored by Jamie McCready, painter and decorator. Just so you know, no smoking or vaping here. All right, Bromley. We continue the march. With a dog at the football. A football at the football. Some broken chairs at the football. Another stand where you sit at the football. No, really, no standing. No standing. Stop taking a piss. No standing. No standing. So they're not on the subs bench, but I think they are players maybe injured, maybe suspended? Who knows? My man on the left, far more concerned with Man United versus Watford, though. What do you say? No, I'm watching. What else are you? No smoking or vaping. So I'm currently looking for a geezer with grey hair and a black jacket. His name's Jim. He's doing a 50-50 raffle, and if I don't get there before half time, then I'm screwed. Because all clubs announce their raffle at half time, right? Or so they say. Yeah, I'm on to you lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm treating you this week. Got you a digital subs board up close and personal. Great hip movement too as well. Making sure all 97 stands in this ground see who's coming off and going on. Good work. Anyway, as we carry on with the game, chance for Concord. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, just needed a touch, but that was unbelievable fizz. That was a fizzer. What about this? Oh, that was fizztastic. Oh, fizz off, Smith. So at this stage of the game, it's all concord at the moment. As this one's headed off the line, volleys. Yeah. Oh, the game's not been an amazing one today. So much so, I've just noticed the little things. A couple more players not in the squad today, sitting down in a no standing stand, including this geezer in the hat. Big bad boy ball pit burger for him. It was even announced on the Twitter feed. Well in, Bruno. Well in. Yeah, having missed the opening goal, not much has happened since. So much so, I'll bring you a half time whistle. So as the players go down the tunnel, I've just spotted something incredible. But wait, if you could do me a massive favour, just drop a like on this video. It helps us out so, so much. And we'll go a long, long way to making sure these continue. So uh, go on, it's free. Just click the like button if you enjoy. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, what have we found? It's a digital scoreboard in non-league. There is quite a lot going on to make this happen. Wires and cables for days. Might unplug that blue one going into the building so I can charge my iPhone. It gets even better though. A retractable player tunnel, which, well, it's not too glamorous in there to be fair. More fake bricks we could sponsor. Nah, I'm 
right, thanks. And then a half time showing where kids blast penalties at a keeper and he lets them in on purpose. But today's a different day. Love that. So, so cruel. And that actually went on for the entirety of half time, where eventually the players got back in the field and we continue with the second half. So, as I stand here, my worst fears have just been confirmed. So, it's a 50 50 draw, winning ticket 2 1 1 3. £100 to be claimed from the board room. Mixed emotions, to be fair. We didn't get to do the raffle, but well done to Hunkerford Town for actually announcing it. Oh, well, look who it is. It's a geezer in a black jacket with grey hair. Had to be Jim. Had to be. I guess I'll open this Diet Coke with one hand, might I add. Meanwhile, Charlie was busy. Spreading the word, spreading the word. If you want to help spread the word, grab your stickers from yetbackagain.com. Can someone tell me what this is? Anyway, I'm about to post a photo to football to football. It's on my Instagram, and you can follow me on there if you want. Meanwhile, Hunkerford defended the lead with a hoof. <laughs> Up the other end, they miss a good chance. The keeper in green could possibly go more green. Hulk in disguise. <laughs> but the amount of bins around here, people have chose not to use them. Saying that though, every bin ever is right here. They might need to spread them out a bit. Then we've got some more shots of Hulk who's just pissed off with his strikers right now. Probably had enough. Really cheesed off. Talking of cheese, a slice for the man in blue. And then more Hulk. <laughs> oh, I fear for this team if they concede. <laughs> Luckily, they've got number five who's just cleared everything today. Can we have a con goal to make things interesting? <laughs> Substitution for con It was tweeted by media manager Kean, and there it is in all his glory. Look at it. Now he is in all his glory. It's on the road viewer and media manager for con call, Kean. Hello. Hello. Con bossing it at the moment, but look at the defending. Look at it. I love it. Such a confidence smurf. If you listen closely, guys, there was a chant today. <laughs> Anyway, in the comments of the photo of football to football, a lot of you dared me to put you in the video, so hopefully you see yourself. Kyle actually dared me to put confident smurf in the video. I've just done it, mate, literally. How long's left in this one? He's dragging on a bit. Another one there, cleared by Grimsby. Yep, not long, not long at all. Dad shoes. Stickers, ball boy, ball ball man. And a final whistle. <laughs> it means so much. It really does. So as the punters make a move, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. All right, as per usual, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. Normally, we get one, one and a half max in non-league. This one was a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. There was a slight buzz about the place. And if it had actually been a good game, it might have been even more. What did the gaffer think? Yeah, definitely well worth 12 quid, was it? Brilliant. More on cost in a minute. Yeah, overall atmosphere. I'm going to go two stars. Next up, we're talking facilities. How was it down at Ball Pit Lane? With your lover of stands, this is the place for you. Signs that are on the way up with a new stand, or at least it looks new. No turnstiles. That's exciting, eh? What about that scoreboard as well? Lovely. Overall, a little bit mismatch. But it does the job. I'm gonna go three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. Well, we travelled here 120 miles, a five hour round trip for me. How was the burger? Personally, I'm thinking it might have been an off day. It tasted okay. Like, just okay. When you get a big burger, that's a lot of okay. And after a while, a lot of okay becomes a bit boring. The burger, or burgers in this case, were overdone. The cheese weren't melted, which was quite disappointing. And the chips, well, they tasted underdone. No crisp, no crunch to them. As for drinks, no Dr. Pepper available, just a Diet Coke. So overall, I'm just gonna go straight down the middle. It could have been a lot better. Two and a half stars. And finally, what we're talking cost. Do you know what? I actually spent more than I expected because I couldn't do the deal that they had. But that's not their fault. That's my fault for not reading properly. Online only, Smith. So if you're going to head down to Hungerford, make sure you do the deal online and uh, other clubs take note. This is really good. Anyway, for that alone, non leg prices, five stars. Keep it up. Which gives Hungerford Town a total of 13 stars as they sit in 13th, sandwiched between West Ham United and Drumfield Town. So there you have it. It's another non league team ticked off the list. I'll continue to do my best and keep drumming it out there, but get yourself down to non league if you can. It wasn't the best of games, but this lot don't care. As I recall, this they're just two points off the playoffs into eight they go and so exit car drive and we are out of here thank you so much for watching this one don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so and drop a like on the video we're after 10,000 likes it helps the channel out more than you could imagine trust me so if you could do that click the like button that'd be much appreciated also if you're new to this and you want to see more there's an on the road playlist with over 100 grounds that we've been to so far get your binge on anyway i'm smith this has been on the road and i will see you in the next one <laughs>